Hello everyone, it's Comet, and I'm back with another Mario Kart Wii modding tutorial. Last time I showed you how to prepare your Mario Kart Wii file for modding, and in this video I'll show you how to add custom tracks as well as dealing with any problems that arise. This video assumes you watched my previous one, and as such I'll be starting from where I left off in that one. You're going to need to access the folder that contains your Mario Kart Wii files, which for me is the tutorial folder. If you deleted this, you can always extract your Mario Kart Wii file a second time. Then go to Files, Race, and then Course. This is where all Mario Kart Wii tracks are going to be stored. So now that this folder is ready, you're going to need to go to TalkDom.com and choose a custom track. You can either get a Texture Hacks track, which is a Mario Kart Wii track with new textures, or you can go with a custom track, either a completely original one or one based on a previous game. So I'm going to go with a completely original one for this video. Now I recommend already knowing which tracks you want. You can sort by newest if you want to find the latest and greatest tracks, or you could always watch someone's top custom tracks videos to find out which tracks you think will be a lot of fun. I already know which track I want, so I'm going to sort it by latest release, and then I'm going to find Honeymoon Loon. I'm going to click on this. As you can see here, there's some information related to the custom track. This is very important to read as sometimes it will list a slot that is required. A required slot means that the track will only work on the specified stage. If you have any questions about which slot means what, TalkDom does have a page dedicated to that, which I have linked in the description. If a track is just listed as a recommended slot, you do not need to worry about it. It's just for a very niche part of the level that does not matter. So I'm just going to download this right here. So in your downloads folder, as you can see, I've already downloaded this track, but it doesn't have a location. Because of that, I'm going to be adding one manually. So I'm going to be renaming this to replace Waluigi Stadium. But since I don't remember off the top of my head where it goes, I'm going to need to access all the track file names. So Mario Kart Wii track file names. And first result will have all the information that you need. I've also linked this in the description for convenience. So because I'm replacing Waluigi Stadium, I'm going to need to rename my file old Waluigi GC SES. It's already an SES file, so that part is not too much concern. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to copy this. Then in my downloads folder, I'm going to go to the custom track and I'm going to rename it. Now I'm going to do one last step. I'm going to copy this file and I'm going to paste it. The reason for that is because I'm going to make a new file that at the very end has underscore D. This is necessary if you want to have split screen and multiplayer functionality for your tracks. So I'm going to take both of these tracks right here and I'm going to add them into the folder right here. There are two files with the same name. Replace the files in the destination. Okay, and with that, you're now all ready to test to make sure everything worked. Go back to your folder containing your Mario Kart Wii ISO and open a PowerShell window. Do wit, copy, the name of your folder, and then the ISO name. So let's call this honeymoontest.iso. Now it's going to take a little bit for this to load, but once it finishes, I'll cut back to it and I'll test to see if this worked. And with that, it's complete. I'm now ready to test and make sure everything worked. So I'm going to open my honeymoon test.iso. I'm going to go into time trials, and you can choose any character, so it does not matter. Then go to GameCube Waluigi Stadium. As you can see, the track has loaded correctly. And I'm just going to drive around for a bit just to ensure that everything is working correctly. The music is playing as expected. So, right there, you could hear the audience cheer noise. That is not something that I want to have in the track, so the final part of the tutorial will be me showing you how to remove any unwanted problems like that. 
To fix any kind of audio problems that may have occurred, you're going to need Brawlbox, preferably version 0.77, as well as Audacity. You're going to want to open up the folder containing your Mario Kart Wii files, and you're going to want to go to Files, and then go to Sound and Revocart BRSAR. Open this with Brawlbox. 0.78 can be somewhat buggy with audio, which is why I'm not using it, but it still does work. Open GRP, then go to GP, and then N is for Nitro Tracks, which are Mario Kart Wii original tracks, R is for Retro Tracks. Because we are using a Retro Track on GameCube, we're going to open Retro, then GameCube, and then go to Waluigi. Edit this file, and delete all of these, or replace all of these. It's up to you which one you do. I'm going to replace them just to be safe. So to replace them, I'm going to export this as Audio 1 Wave. Then I'm going to open up Audacity to edit that file. So I'm going to open Audio 1 Wave. So I'm going to select all of this noise, and I'm going to do Effect Amplify, and I'm going to do an incredibly small number. By doing that, it makes it so that you can no longer hear the noise. So I'm going to do file, export as wave, and then I'm going to rename it to muted. With that done, I'm going to go back into Brawlbox and I'm going to replace all of these audio files that have the cheer noises with the muted noise. So replace muted. And I'm going to go through and do all of that. Now with that complete, I'm going to hit done Control save it and close this file. I'm going to go back to my ISO folder and I'm going to do open PowerShell window here. I'm going to do wit copy the name of my folder and then audio fix.iso. And with that, there is now a new file called the audio fix.iso. I'm going to open this and I'll cut to the track to ensure that the audio is working. Now that I'm back on this track, I'm going to go through and test and ensure that the audience cheer sound has been removed successfully. And as you can see right there, there is no audience cheer. And just one more time to be clear, there is no audience cheer anymore. All the other audio is working properly and the track itself is still driving fine. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please leave a like. This video is the second in a series where I'm going to go through and teach you everything you need to know about modding your Mario Kart Wii, ISO, and Dolphin emulator. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.